Hi, I want to show you how to set up rules in your bank feed. And rules are awesome. They're a huge time saver, and they're basically a way for you to automate your bank feed. So you give QuickBooks a few pieces of information, and then it's going to help you auto-categorize your transactions as it recognizes that information. So this is best explained in an example. Then I have a specific process that I like to follow when creating rules just to ensure that they're as accurate as possible. So they're most likely to match up with a transaction. So let's just take this example here, um, Bob's Burger Joint. Let's say that's somewhere that we eat at a lot for business meals. And we can click into the, the line item and just create the rule straight from the bank feed. I like to create from the bank feed when I can uh, because it's easier than creating the rule up in the rules tab. So we'll start here and we're going to go down to create a rule but before I do I'm going to copy some of the bank detail here um, so that I can enter that in the rule in just a second. So I'm just going to take Bob's Burger here, copy that and then go down to create a rule. So when we're naming the rule, I can just paste in what I just copied. You just have to take out any punctuation. QuickBooks won't let you save it if there's punctuation in there. So Bob's Burger, just so I can identify it. This is always a money out transaction, but you have an option for money in as well. And then it's usually, I'm usually using my MasterCard for this expense, but just in case I switch to one of the other accounts, maybe I use my debit card, I'm going to check all bank accounts just to kind of ensure it matches up no matter which account it's in. And then down here, if you create from the bank feed, it's going to populate the description for you, which is great. I'm also going to add a condition. So I want the rule to either look in the description text or look in that bank text that we copied. So I can just choose bank text, copy that in here, and then I, I like to switch this to any. So it's, it's looking in either one and, and trying to match to either of those items. And then down here, I'm going to go to expense as the transaction type, the category. This is a meal, meals and entertainment. The payee is Bob's. It's already in there. If you want to add a memo that appears, you can add that here. And then really important, you want to turn off the auto add feature. Make sure this is not green. Um, I never like to see transactions auto add. I always want to see them in the bank feed before I add them. I've seen so many clients get into trouble because transactions are automatically adding to the books. They never review them and there's an error or something's going to the wrong place. So really, I can't stress enough that you want to turn off auto add. And then once you do that, you can hit save. So now that we've created the rule, we should be able to double check it here in the bank feed. And we want to see this little green rule square. We want to see the right account, meals and entertainment. We want to see the right payee. So if the information is, is matching up correctly, then we've done a good job and we can add the transaction. If we need to make any changes to the rule, you can go up to the rules tab here. You'll see the rule that we created and you can easily edit it and come in and make any changes. And sometimes from time to time, you will have to make changes in your rules. Maybe it's not matching anymore. Maybe the text changed a little bit or, you know, something is different. So you can come back here and edit your rules and make sure they, they are working again. Um, you can also see there's this nice auto add column so you can see if any rules got turned to auto add and you always want to turn that off. We can see this one is off. There's nothing in this, in this box. So um, keep an eye on that. But again, can't stress enough, you really want to set up rules. It will make your, it will significantly cut down on your bookkeeping time.